I'm going to dig deeper to get men understand why women fall in love with emotionally unavailable men and how it will eventually be better if you are ahead of women. Most men who are emotionally unavailable, they have been hurt. They have fear of falling in love with women. And through those experiences, it will be scary for me to again fall in love, create that environment for me so that I can protect myself emotionally. The only way is not to nurture my emotions, but to concentrate on my purpose. Through heartbreaks, through disappointments from women, through the modern life dating, that is how he will build himself. And he will not care. He's not invested in her emotionally. It has worked better for him. That is the best way he can protect himself from falling in love which will eventually create unpredictable behavior from a man. And to a woman, this is positive. And I know you would say, that is toxic. But women will fall in love with these men. Men who are predictable are the men who are emotionally unavailable. Women can psychologically read men through that. Let it be your behavior and not just a facade. Don't just act and craft your life a mask that you're putting on. When it is a game that you are applying, they will notice after they give you some certain behaviors and you do not act negatively because you're not getting what you wanted, you are unpredictable. And women will consistently want to understand who is Isaac deep down. This is what will create curiosity. She will have the intent of investing in you emotionally so that maybe you can reveal your SMV whenever you will go into a scarcity mindset. Women want to understand and predict a man so that they can know his SMV. Dating and committing to an emotional and available man produces stress hormones in a woman's body. Some way is so addictive to women. And this is how they have been dealing with relationships. After a breakup, that is the only way they can tell that men do love them. She's used to cortisol. If it is an addiction to her, she will choose this. It doesn't matter. You can blame hypergamy and blame the toxic modern dating life. But she will choose what stimulates her emotionally even when it is toxic. It is how she perceives hypergamy through how the toxic man makes her feel. So she will try. Let me qualify myself to Isaac. If I can just get him to open up to me emotionally, he can fall in love with me. But that is what she needs for her to fall in love with you. If you don't change, she will fall in love with you. If you do change and connect with her emotionally, she will say, you changed. You're too much invested. You are so attached. It's just a strategy in the game. Even if she won't get him open up, that idea alone is enough to force Olivia, go for Johnny and try to solve the puzzle and fix him. And if you do connect with her emotionally, trust me, Johnny, trust me, Isaac, she's quickly going to exit. This is what will happen. The more you want to understand something, that is how you will invest in it emotionally because you are putting in all your energy and all your emotions. That is just how the world works. The more energy you give, the more you invest emotionally. The more you invest in them emotionally, the more you get attached. The more you get attached, the more you are predictable. She doesn't feel attracted to you. She doesn't want to date you. When she's not certain, that you really like her, she believes that she's not desirable enough and you have more options. What does uncertainty has to do with emotionally unavailable? Lead to a man needing closeness. Someone maybe to love him, but emotionally, he will just automatically pull back because that is how he has created himself. It might come out as stoic and strong when in reality, it is the fear of falling in love. And this is how she will fall in love with you. Remember, to make a woman try to understand deeper why he says he loves her, but he has this strange behavior of not investing in her emotionally, she will ask herself, does he really want to be with me? She just doesn't understand why you're not willing to open up emotionally. You have never nurtured 
your emotional feelings. You can't invest in her emotionally. And you can't help yourself but just act accordingly. Even when you care and you present yourself in moments of I am in love, you will just naturally act in a certain way. You automatically will fulfill hypergamy and she will invest in you emotionally because of your consistent behavior of arousing her emotionally, subconsciously. In the front end game, I thought that he was pretending. But over time, he has been just presenting himself in that manner that this is who he is. But in reality, Isaac has a defense mechanism. That is what yielded to this lady falling in love with Isaac. And I know it is contradicting, it is toxic, okay? It's not healthy, okay? But this is when men will get more love, more care, more affection, and women will care about them much more. But then women will receive the emotional arousal. If these women find a healthy relationship, it will never work for them. It will not last long. It's all about who you are emotionally and how you invest in her emotionally and how you present it yourself in the front end game because you give her the identity that she will frame you in and she will believe that this is who you are or either you are pretending that this is who you are just to attract her. And the emotions that she chooses to value in that relationship, if the emotions are toxic, but that is what she's craving, she's going to get them from a toxic man. They are not planning to do this, but naturally, this is what will happen. Automatically and psychologically, this is how they will behave. That is why when you are around this lady, she will act innocent because she is innocent. It is just a subconscious behavior, psychologically, that has a strategy on its own. That shield that you are using to protect yourself emotionally, sometimes it's the only way you can have it to have a lasting relationship. Because you get emotionally invested, they pull back. You act like you do not care, they come back. Now you start caring, again they pull back. Also, are we just here to build toxic relationships and not care for each other? Maybe. Today's shout out goes to Philip. Let me hope that is your name. And he has also been a loyal fan for a while. Thanks for always tuning in. And have you really watched up to this point? If you have, then kindly comment down below by saying, don't make mistakes. And until next time, be safe, take care, and let's have peace.